Julie Blanner, I am sharing my favorite source for art. I bet you won't believe it, but it's actually free. Did you know that a lot of the works of art that you find in stores and online are actually available free in the public domain? So many people don't realize this one simple design secret that can save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars through the years. It is actually one of my very favorite that I have been using in our home for years and years. You may have noticed that sometimes I'll offer a free printable like this free printable egg print or a Christmas tree that I've integrated into our decor. Those were just free and available to me online. I simply enhanced them or made them available in the appropriate size for you to print because they are free in the public domain. There is a plethora of art in the public domain, both from line drawings, from books like botanicals and animals, and other scientific studies. And there are also beautiful, beautiful landscapes. I love looking for the source there first before purchasing it online. So many stores like Ballard Designs, Studio McGee, they list these pieces of art for sale. Of course, they'll put their own little touch on them, whether they print them on canvas or frame them, but even pieces like the one that I purchased from art.com was available for free. And I fell victim to it. I don't know why it didn't occur to me at the time, but I am sharing them all with you so you don't fall victim to it. Now, pieces of art, like I mentioned from art.com, that came framed, though, albeit a cheap frame, for $144. I could have taken it to one of my favorite sources online or in store and printed it for less than $3. That is a huge savings and I would have had more control over the quality of the art itself. I love to print things on either canvas or a textured paper to make them look more realistic rather than the poster paper that this piece was printed on. So it gives you a lot of options as well. Now, not all art is available free in the public domain. I shared this on my website and on Facebook and people went wild. They absolutely love this idea. And they were like, well, can I find this piece? And can I find that piece? Well, yeah, there, some of them are commissioned pieces of art made specifically for a store and not available. But like I said, so many that you do see online are. So here's my tip to find out if a piece that you're already looking at is available. Crop out any framing, if there is any, and upload that picture to Google Images. It will find all the sources of that image. Now, the burden lies on you to determine if it is free in the public domain or not, but you'll see a plethora of options available, whether it be one store or a variety of sources. If it's a variety of sources, chances are it's free in the public domain, but take it one step further and make sure that it's accessible on one of the sites that I have listed in the description below because you want to make sure you're doing your due diligence before you print it. Most sites will declare if it is or is not free in the public domain. So anything that you find online, you can look and see if you can get it for free. Now you can print these on paper. Again, I recommend textured. Book cloth, I have a full tutorial for that on my site at julieblanner.com, or canvas. If you print it on canvas, that's the most realistic for a painting. One of my favorite resources for that is MPix, but I also love FrameBridge because they can do it all in one. You can select your frame, select your size, and you send it off and it's super, super simple. Of course, you also have office supply stores like FedEx and UPS. Both of those offer printing options that are easy and affordable. You can upload it and just swing by to pick it up or have it mailed to you. Another option, of course, is Walgreens or CVS. Just make sure that you select the poster print so it's not on photo paper. That is my least favorite because the quality just isn't as high, but it is a great alternative. 
Other office supply stores like Office Max, Office Depot, and Staples are also great resources and have a wide variety of ways that you can print things online. Now let's talk about some of my favorite pictures that are free in the public domain. I really love these two pieces here from Studio McGee. They came out with their small art section and I loved it because I love stacking art. However, the first piece is $268 and the second piece is $248. So that's over $500 for these framed canvas prints that are available for free in the public domain. You can find all of my favorite sources by Googling Julie Planner art in the public domain. Now this is not only amazing for your bedrooms and living rooms and breakfast nooks and kitchens, but this is also a great tip for your living room on your frame TV. I love using art in the public domain on my frame. You can upload a picture, any painting. I love, again, landscape art is one of my favorites, but line drawings, etc. Upload something that feels very personal and unique to you that will look great in your space. It's a really great way to not have to pay for that subscription service or to purchase Shutterstock images to use on your frame TV. I love displaying art on my TV. You can learn about that. Just Google Julie Blanner Frame TV. Now, if you've seen images over and over again, chances are it's a free print that you can get somewhere yourself. Some of those include books, scientific research books on botanicals or animals, plants, a lot of those that you see are actually all available to you for free. Why is this? Well, these pieces of work have fallen out of copyright, which makes them available to anyone at no cost. You can often find these online at art and history museums and universities, as well as Wikipedia, which is actually Wikimedia in this case. Some of my favorites include the Art Institute of Chicago, Biodiversity Heritage Library, Cleveland Museum of Art, Creative Commons, the Getty Museum, the Met, Missouri History Museum, MoMA, St. Louis Art, Art Museum, Smithsonian, Wikimedia Commons, as I mentioned before, Yale Center for British Art, and Yale University Art Gallery. Of course, there are so many more. A few tips for printing your art is choose the highest resolution available to you. Now there are other tips and tricks that you can do with photo software, including reducing the grain, but this is the simplest factor. Uploading the highest quality available to print will yield you the best results. Another tip is if you're trying to keep it really affordable, download a piece of art that is a standard size, that will fit a standard size frame. This will save you money when it comes to framing it. Don't forget to choose the highest quality paper available to you for a really luxe high-end result. I'd love to see your art in the public domain and how you're utilizing it in your home. Don't forget to click subscribe for more easy design ideas.